Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again and we are back with uh, some more Ultimate Team. It's time to take this uh, BPL squad builder that we did in the previous episode out for a spin. We're going into the Gold Cup, trying to make some good progress in this episode and the first team we come up against is uh, a hybrid. It's 3-5-2 formation and a mixture of uh, Bundesliga and Serie A players here. Some transfer players, the uh, Schalke, ba Michel Bastos and uh, AC Milan, Mario Balotelli as well as the upgraded, uh, is it Rene Adler? And uh, in goal, I think it's Rene Adler, plays for uh, Hamburger now, not Bayer Leverkusen. But that's besides the point. We get straight into the action here early on in this first game in the uh, the round of 16. And Mario Balotelli puts us 1-0 up early on in the sixth minute with a lovely tidy finish with his weak foot underneath the goalkeeper. So he may be improved, but he's clearly still prone to concede in those near post shots. But it wasn't long before he got back into the game. Jerome Boateng winning a header there from his corner in the 37th minute. That brought it back to 1-1. And then instantly, two minutes later, Mario Balotelli gets through. Uh, the defender just kind of dances around him. And then uh, he puts the ball into the top left hand corner with the outside of his right foot lovely finish in fairness and 40 minutes in uh, he is 2-1 but Mario Balotelli here again with the effort well saved trying to get us back in the game just before half time and a second effort from Juan Mata is again well saved from Rene Adler and after letting in that shot at the near post early on he was uh, making up for it there but Yaya Torre in the 60th minute with that four star weak foot that we talked about in the squad builder puts us back on level terms on the hour and then into the 90th minute now we're trying to steal it in stoppage time Sand Gazzola with a lovely effort from distance and uh, Adler again with a great save palms it onto the post so we do go into extra time in uh, in the first game of this cup we are uh, having the better possession and chances so uh, was confident going into extra time in this one that we could you know come out of it with the victory and progress but he was the one that went in front uh, early on in extra time here I'm not really too sure what happened I uh, tried to play the ball back to Petrzec and then immediately clear it but Czech decided to take a touch first of all clearly came at him too fast for his liking but um, Pato was able to close him down get a tackle in and the ball crossed the line so we did go 3-2 down but Yaya Torre a little bit of uh fortunate really a little bit fortunate really to get through there just plows his way through three or four different players and slots it tidily nice and tidily actually great finish into the bottom left corner to bring it back to 3-3 so we did progress to penalties and uh, we have had some uh, some decent not luck but uh, decent results shall we say from penalty shootouts so far in ultimate team this year uh, I don't think going from memory that we've actually lost a penalty shootout so far but after th Four penalties each, it was 2-2, two, two, and then Petacek pulls off a great save up in that top left-hand corner. And uh, Stevie Gerrard steps up to put us through to the quarter-finals. And uh, we come up in the quarter-final against an interesting team, a mix of silvers and golds. There's some Spaniards in there from Osasuna, a Spaniard from the Greek League, a few other players spattered around, spattered around, splattered around, splashed around from the Greek League, and uh, a few Argentinians and Serie A players in there as well. But it seemed like a decent team, and uh, it played quite well for him, actually. He was... Uh, you know, it was hard to play against. And Mario Balotelli here showing some great feet to get away from Joel Matip. Good first save from his goalkeeper there from Santi Cazorla's header. But uh, Santi is able to get on the end of the rebound and make it 1-0 to us in the 21st minute. And then again, just a few minutes later, Mario Balotelli breaking down this left-hand side again. Lovely feet for a second time. Great shot from distance. Well saved from his goalkeeper. And uh, the ball eventually drops to Yaya Torre on that left foot again. But this time can't quite find the nice finish. And it does flash wide of the post. So uh, a nice one too here from him. Come Coming up towards half time, then in this quarter final, does get inside the box. Cheeky step over and a good block from the defender initially, but uh, it did send the, uh, the initial shot, did send keeper to ground, so uh, he was able to pounce on the rebound and get himself back in the game. So that's 1 1 just before half time, 43rd minute, Maralunga. We did leave the replay in just uh, you so you can see. Petacek does go to ground, probably would have saved the initial shot, but I think it was Yaya Torre just gets in the way. It's a decent block, but you know, uh, Czech was committed and uh, couldn't get back up to recover quick enough. But we uh, we did come straight back at him actually in first half stoppage time. Mario Balotelli coming across the field and uh, a lovely ball inside the defender there to the onrushing Gareth Bale, who thunders that shot right into the top left hand corner. No, top right hand corner. I'm losing my left and rights. Right into the top right hand corner, right into the stanchion, and uh, that put us two one up at half time. And then we push on into the second half on the hour mark. Mario Balotelli, a lovely ball through to Steven Gerrard, but his keeper again does make a very good. Save. So we're trying to find that third goal just to finish this one off because obviously we did concede three in uh, the previous game. So we're not as strong defensively as we potentially could be. But uh, we were unfortunate not to get a decent chance from that corner as it came in. But actually Cole goes on an absolute run of love. Scuffed effort that kind of zips Daisy Cutter style towards that bottom right hand corner. But the keeper is able to get down and make another good save. So we're definitely uh, we're definitely showing that we are on top and having a really, really dominant spell. As Mario Bellatelli throws himself for that effort trying to get on the end of the corner and then 
then Eunice Cabal fires over, unfortunately. He does have a lot of shot power behind him, Eunice Cabal, in that right foot, but uh, not the accuracy this time. And then in the 73rd minute here, coming down the left-hand side again, lovely ball by Santa Cazula with the outside of his foot out to Gareth Bale. Tries to whip the ball into one matter. Great first touch, great turn, great finish. And uh, that puts us 3-1 up in the 75th minute, and that is how this game is going to finish. So we are going to progress into the semi-finals. That's going to wrap this particular episode up. going to have uh, two games per episode for uh, this cup run series so court final uh, round of 16 and court final in this one and we do progress to the semi-finals we have the semi-final and the final should we progress we have to wait and see in uh, the next episode so thank you very much for watching guys please do leave the video a like uh, you as you can see we were particularly dominant in possession and chances so yeah please do leave the video a like guys we've been getting upwards of 20 25 likes on every video recently so that is absolutely fantastic i can't thank you enough for that and we're over 950 subscribers as well so pushing on towards 1k and uh, i'm going to run out of footage so thank you very much for watching guys and i'll catch you next time